everyone, Susan here. Okay, happy 2019. Let's get this dress cut, and that's what's next. I took off the muslin and all of the lace that we had draped on the dress form. This is just all the design lines. These are all the strips. They're all numbered and they're all gathered. And then this is the top part of the bodice that was gathered. I also have the bottom skirt that's gathered on a, on a hanger separately. So now we can get with the lining that's underneath, the understructure, so that we can cut it, cut the lining. So let's do that now on the flat. Here I am with the uh, lining pieces. We have the front um, underneath skirt with all the seams, the back, and then we have the bodice. This is the front bodice here with the top part and the bottom part where all the bony is going to be. The, uh, we have the back as well. So we have to have all of those mark, all of those seams for the bony. But there has to be another lining behind that to clean it if that makes sense. And I don't want all those crazy seams on that. So I'm gonna to have to show you what we're gonna do on the flat. With this skirt too, we're gonna to need all these layers have to be sewn into each one of these panels. But then I want to have another lining to kind of clean the whole back of that as well. And so that has to be one piece. I don't want all these seams and having them move around. So let me show you what I'm gonna do with that, I think, on the flat. All right, so that's what's next. Here I am, I'm, I have the panels here on a little piece of my lining. I've got the front skirt here on the fold, the back skirt, and then uh, underskirt and the front bodice and the back bodice. What we're trying to do is we're gonna keep these layers as well because we have to put the panels in there. But I also what I need is that I need a one piece lining underneath to kind of clean the whole back of that, if that makes sense. And I need that for the front and the back as well as this, but I don't need it here. I'm gonna make this in two pieces because it needs to be in two pieces. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just cut off the top part of the bodice from the, from the midsection of the bodice. And then I'm going to take that out and I'm gonna press it and I'll be right back. So here I am on the flat and I have this folded, this lining folded. This is the fold line here. And um, you can see the front panel of the skirt actually it lays down pretty good. I'm not gonna to have to probably fuss with that. I'm just gonna cut around that, make sure I have enough seam allowance, etc. Just to let you know, usually when I do a gown, I always transfer it to paper uh, because I'm actually producing it, so I have to have it very accurate and then I make sizes. Since I'm not really sure if I'm gonna produce this, uh, this actual garment again, um, I'm trying to make do with the muslin. If you can see the back here, it's got this big bump here, right? Um, and if I put my L square there, it is not squared. It's not squared at all. It's missing, it's missing. And I can't cut it like this. So I'm gonna have to show you a trick on that. But here is the front bodice. It's laying on the fold nicely. This is the little triangle piece I have to do two of. Here's um, the back bodice, here's the top back bodice, and here are the other sections of the front bodice. So what we're gonna do is we're going to try to make this a one-piece lining. I'll let you know that I marked everything and I had everything in red that I thought was accurate. And if I felt it needed to be a little bit further out on some of it, I did it with the green marker. So everything is marked really kind of nicely. So this piece here, in order, to get this so that it is going to be squared here on my L square, I'm gonna to have to put a dart going this way, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do on the princess seam is show you a little trick. I'm gonna go ahead and put a straight line here on the princess seam. I'm gonna use my red marker and then just put a line just like that on there. And I'm gonna to have to cut that and put a dart there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cut on that line right now with the panels like this. And voila, this will be able to go straight there. This will then open up as you can see. And as I'm opening it up, I'm able to get it to be more squared. And I have to make it all the way 
so that it kind of meshes with my L square. Can you see that? All right, so that's the little trick. So now this under underlining, this is the backing slash lining that's gonna be these panels. I'll do that next, next week. But this week I wanna do the underlining or the clean finishing of this. So I'm gonna actually have to put this here like that. So now you can see that this is meshing pretty well I mean, to the best of its ability on the L square. Once I get that in a nice little location, I'm going to then just secure it down. And then the same thing here. So this opens up this space and becomes a dart. We're gonna to have to put it, we can actually clean it so it won't show too badly. So that's the little trick that I'm gonna show you this week, all right? That's how you make the underlining. And now I'm going to secure the rest of these pieces with my weights just like this i'm going to secure this other part here with a weight as well i'm going to have to pencil this so so i know that in here is a dart so i'm actually whether you can do it with your white pencil by itself or if you're going to use a ruler i'm i just opened this up so this is going to be that dart that's going to be inside and you you won't see it it'll be very nice and I'm using my white pen. If, if that pencil doesn't work, you can just use your chalk. However, you can get that line in there because you have to have that line in order to know where you're going to put that dart in. So that's gonna be the waistline, that's gonna be the waistline. So that's good. We have that all secured. I'm gonna pin the rest of this right now, if I can, if these pins will work. Uh, so with the lining, it might be a little hard, but I'm, I'm gonna actually pin a few of these in here just to keep them really secure there, as well as here on this little triangle piece there. And these are going to have to make sure that they are straight. So I'm gonna take the grain line, any of these grain lines, and make sure that that's straight. All right, so first I'm gonna check the back so we have just making sure that it's lined straight. So we have about 20 and a half there. And we have exactly the same here. That's perfect. We've got this back piece here. I wanna make sure that it's the same going here as well as here. It needs to be a little bit of adjusted. So that's almost 17. And I'm gonna pull that just like this. So that's gonna be straight there like that and like that, perfect. I'm gonna just put large pins because, because of the cloth, it's a little bit harder to work with it and just secure it down in some, some areas like that. I'm gonna check this panel here too, number four, but I think I'm gonna need just another panel here. I'm just checking the grain lines again. It has to be straight. So normally don't work this way. <laughs> normally it's pa pattern paper and never pins, but I, I'm going back to the original roots of how things are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this panel here. We're gonna need more than one of this. We're gonna need two, but then we're also gonna need, or actually gonna need four of that one and four of this one, because we are not doing a one piece lining for the bodice, top bodice. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in there. And we might have to use the other fabric. Just pinning that like that and making sure that that's straight. Here's this panel here. And I have to make sure that that's straight as well. That's the grain line. Remember, whenever I pulled the grain, that is my grain line and it has to be parallel to the salvage or to the fold, whichever you're measuring from. I'm just gonna put some basic pins there as well. And there we go. Not gonna put too many because I don't really think we need it. The other important thing to make sure is that our seam allowance, the center back seam allowance is going to be an inch, but and also the side seams or the center back as well. But I wanna make sure that all these seam allowances are mesh, or they're right. If they're not, I'm going to have to make sure of that either with my chalk or my, my pencil. So now we can start cutting this out. And here we go. I'm just gonna cut here all the way around. I'd have to make sure 
like I said, that my half an inch seam allowance exists. If it's a little bit shy, I'm just going to eye it and make sure it goes up to I can get my half of an inch seam allowance. That's a little shy there. So we're going to make a half of an inch seam allowance on the side. So here we go. And I'm just putting my tape measure, as you can see, while I'm cutting this to make sure that I have my half of an inch seam allowance. If that makes sense. You could also just, you know, go like this because I'm going to need, I'm missing here. So I have to make sure that that's going like that and this is going like that because I made it a little wider here on the side waist. So I have to make sure I have that. I've got it here. The panel is good. This panel is good. Okay, so we have here on the waist. It's a little shy right here. We're going to cut the outs, we're going to cut this dart excess. So I'm not too worried about this point, but just eye it as much as you can. Do the side here. I'm going to put a little notch here and a little notch so I know that's where the inside of that is. I'm going to put a little dot here so I know where, the, where that actually ends. I'm just making sure I have enough here for my half of an inch seam allowance. have that inch in the center back because I will in case uh, we want to make it larger for any reason so that's going to be fine and here we go show you that one in a minute let's move this over this is the panel right here this is on the fold. You gotta do another one of those. As you can see, I wanna make sure that this was high enough and this was out further. So you wanna put that line there. Here's the center back so that it has to be an inch. that panel. Okay. I'm going to take this out like this because we're going to need another panel just like that there. Making sure this is all a half of an inch. Again, we have to put another piece of that, so we have to do that one again. This has to be done again as well. So these two have to be repeated. Okay, and this is this is the open center front. We're going to go ahead and put that again twice like that on this piece. And here. And then I'm going to cut around that. That's the center panel. We're doing this one again. We're measuring to make sure on the salvage that we have that exactly even. So we have to make sure that that's good. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to pin it again, all layers. 
the, the spandex is not liking the pins, but we're good. We're gonna go ahead and cut that out again. This we need four for the, for the right side, the left side, and then the back of it, the right side and the left side. There we go. We're gonna make sure that this is, this is the grain line here. We're just making sure that it's straight and we're good. Go ahead and put that together. All panels together. I don't like the way that puckers. That's why I don't like pins, because I don't like the way it puckers and pulls. It's not as accurate. But let's go ahead and cut that out again. Side and it has a, a larger seam allowance. I'm leaving it like that on purpose. Okay, so we have these panels. So let's see that little trick again, okay guys? So here it is. What we're gonna do next, next week is we're gonna cut each one of these panels. We're gonna finish cutting the lining so we can get this started. But see what happens now. I'm gonna go ahead and you, I'm gonna take this off here. Here is the center back. And here's the side seam, notches. And even if I, this, it might be easier for you to see if I take it out. But all I'm gonna do is make this a dart and then you'll get that curvature that you needed on the back. Isn't that cool? So let me show you that with the panel. Let's see if it, if it makes more sense if you see it with the panel. So we just did a slash and spread with the muslin rather than doing it with paper. That's pretty much what we did. So once I close this guy up like this, right, like that, I then get that same shape again, right? It comes back to normal. So that's the trick. And that's how you do the under under skirt or the clean finishing of the lining. All right, guys, yes, we did it. Guys, that's enough for today. Let's get this dress done. I'm anxious to get it done as well. So next week we'll finish the lining. Okay, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe on the right side of your screen is my subscription button. Share these videos and I'll see you next week. Thank you, bye-bye.